Hey guys, it's Des with T-Mobile. Welcome to another edition of Tech Tuesdays. I think Susanna, welcome. Are we on episode number 17? Well, yes, but technically number two for the year. <laughs> two for, so season two, episode two, episode 17 overall. We've got tons of people in the chat. Look at all these we folks. Do. I see a lot of 5Gs in here. <laughs> Now, 5Gs, I know if you're watching this on replay, you might still have time. And if you're watching it live, go do it as soon as we're done. Don't do it right now. We're going to give you all the details. But if you are a T-Mobile customer, drop into T-Mobile Tuesdays. You can win one of these brand new Samsung Galaxy S21 5G devices we're going to be talking about today. You got to find all the little 5Gs. Maybe that's what all the little 5Gs mean. That's what it, that must be it. Everybody used 5G, to throw 5G. There, and, and there's a lot of them. <laughs> Susanna, there's like, I think there's like seven or maybe eight. I, I did it today and I actually wow. missed it. And I went back through and I still could not see where the 5G was. I'm going to win everybody else and try to win one too. <laughs> yep, right? We're, we're all trying to get in there. We're all trying to get in there. Yeah. I, see, I see Raul is in the house. Hello, Matthew Jones, 5G, Clovar, 5, 5G, Thomas, 5G. <laughs> Everybody's like, look at those phones. So yeah, I wasted no time even goofing off. We have... The whole lineup. Susanna, you better hold up I yours. have, oh, hold on. I have two more this way. <laughs> two more? Okay. So uh, here, uh, obviously, you guys, we're talking Galaxy S21 5G from Samsung. Our friends over at Samsung, thank you so much. Uh, I have a black S21 Ultra 5G. This will be the one that I'm going to unbox, but we have all the colors. These are all of our marketing samples from our unboxing videos both if you guys haven't seen Susanna's video hers is so sharp I told her I was like so impressed <laughs> everything is crystal clear looks gorgeous you can see all the colors that's on T-Mobile Latino if you're Thank not already you. a subscriber go subscribe now both to the T-Mobile YouTube channel as well as the T-Mobile YouTube channel hit uh, notifications on so you can always get the latest and greatest from us uh, I'm going to be unboxing, well, I'm not going to unbox all these, but I can show you Phantom Lavender. Let's see. I've got Phantom Lavender, if you guys can see kind of over here. I've got Phantom White. I've got another Phantom Lavender or Phantom Violet. Phantom Violet. Violet. <laughs> by Violet. Uh, I've got Phantom. Those are the pluses right here. And then I've got a Phantom Silver. You've got a Phantom Silver and a Phantom. What's the other color Pink. you have? Pink, Pink and, and Phantom gray. Pink. Yeah, your your test unit is a gray one. My yeah, my test unit is a black one, right? So, so uh, phantom black on the ultra. And if you guys have seen my Twitter feed or some Instagrams over there, I have been taking tons of photos uh, with the ultra. I actually was able to take it on my family vacation to Maui uh, several weeks ago. Now, COVID, you know, you had to get the test beforehand, all that stuff. Hopefully, you guys are all being safe and doing well. Uh, but I got to bring a little bit of Maui back to you guys. Lots of beach photos, a space zoom, 100x from the Ultra, all it's the really way awesome from stuff. like a beach, like in front of the restaurant clear to Black Rock, which is in at the Sheraton in Maui, where T-Mobile has their peak achievement awards. Look at everybody's jealous. Nah, don't be jealous. It's a lot of, a lot of <laughs> I was jealous to too. I was jealous too. <laughs> <laughs> Killing the picture game on Twitter's. Oh, I love it. Hey, love people it. are saying they saw you on T-Mobile Tuesdays. That's pretty cool. Whoa! I'm sorry <laughs> you have to watch me, but I'm in there mixed in with the 5Gs. You can tap on my face. You can tap on the 5Gs. All right, let's blow up that guy right there. Make a huge. <laughs> okay, so here are all the boxes, all the colors. I will take them out in a minute, but why don't we get to the unboxing? Susanna, do you want to... Uh, Want to tell anybody? What well, you know? What maybe we should talk first before we start this guy, real quick. Prices now. Friday is launch day. Yeah. If you there was there was a pre order and all that good stuff. We've done all of that stuff, uh, but now we are actually into launch. So just a couple days away, into this week, uh, devices would be showing up. Uh, people will be doing their own unboxing. Be sure to tag us. When I saw lots of people in the Twitter comments today saying, "Oh, I'm getting mine." Blah blah blah. Yeah, so it's pretty. Sweet. Cannot wait. Really? Yeah, let's sneak over here. I'm just I'm disappearing from this side altogether. Uh, nothing I can do about that. You just you guys get to see all the funny Harry Potter stuff in the background. <laughs> okay, so Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G is what we're unboxing today. Susanna, how is the sound? Or am I doing okay even though I'm over here? I can hear you perfect. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. No Great. I did not hook up a microphone today. My bad. I apologize, guys. 
We go right in, right off the top. This is Phantom Black. And we have a little protective cover, of course. And then directly underneath, drum roll, please. Oh, ta -da. So pretty. The Phantom <laughs> Black. I know, it's just a big black glass slab right there when you're looking at it. Demo cam, we're back to our old note. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and peel this up. Super quiet. There's almost no sound. Wow. There. So satisfying. Yeah, it just left a little place where, like, obviously there have been. People are asking what the size of that phone is. This is this is the biggest one. So this yes. is uh, off the top. Of, you quote specs while I do the van away. I got it. <laughs> it's a 6.8 inch screen for this one. Um, whereas the S21 Plus. It's going to be a 6.7 inch, and the smallest would be the S21, which is a 6.2 inch. Perfect. And maybe they want to do, do they want a comparison? I've got lots of things to I compare. think, yes. Once, once you do yes. the, uh, finish the unboxing, I think you should line them up and show everybody. Sounds good. And I just grabbed a fan edition here so we can put it up there to nice. compare up there, the other S20 lineup. So. Lots of cameras in the back. Love the integrated design. Now, this, this follows through on all three models. So this one, in this case, more cameras. The camera detail is a little bit bigger. But as you can see, as I turn really slowly, integrated right into the chassis, or the frame of the phone itself. Right yeah. here. Hopefully that's catching in the light there. I see some focus bouncing back and forth, but it looks like we're doing okay. And boom, look at that bad boy. So pretty. <laughs> Up on the top, nice and clean. On the bottom, USB-C charging port, SIM card tray. I don't even know if you guys can see that right there. Uh, and then the speaker grill as well. Power Super is one of the best Samsungs in a long time. <laughs> probably one of the best designs. And what I'll do is after I do yes. this unboxing, we will get out uh, one of the Phantom Violets because that's got the two-tone chassis, and that really shows the design off. So I'll put that guy right and there. Steven, or yeah, it's Steven Stefan. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. Um, is asking if we could compare the different cameras, and we definitely can. Um, we'll show you the difference between each one. Sure. So inside the box, documentation, quick reference guide, introducing the series, and of course, T-Mobile SIM card. Always use the latest SIM card inside the box uh, that when you get your new T-Mobile device or Metro by T-Mobile device for that reason. Uh, for that, you know, as well. And then underneath documentation, the SIM card, we've got your USB-C to USB-C. Let me slide. There we go. Nice. USB-C to USB-C charging cable. And uh, I know the question will come up. No, there is not a travel adapter or the <laughs> wall part, if you will, in the box. Um, that is the trend with our phone manufacturers these days. Less, less e-waste. Well, more for them is the idea yep yep and of course the box is quite a bit smaller now i'm going to load this back up and then amanda is asking um since it doesn't have a headphone jack how are the speakers on the phone super loud so stereo speakers they sound great um i know there's some um, discussions as we get here let me cue that guy up real quick there are some discussions about you know how does audio quality sound because you've got one that's facing forward and one that's facing down but fantastic super loud you can play music. I can have music playing in here, and I can hear it all through the downstairs part of the house. So very good speaker system. Um, let's compare the sizes, shall we? So that is an Ultra in black. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna actually going to put this guy back in the box. Susanna, you want to talk about cameras on the Ultra real quick while we're here? Yes, the Ultra has an amazing camera. Um, so with the Ultra, you will get a 100 megapixel, 108 megapixel uh, wide right. camera, and then you'll have a 12 megapixel ultra wide, a 10 megapixel tele three times, and then a 10 megapixel uh, tele 10 times optical. Um, not only that, but you also get 100 times space zoom, which if you, like Des said in his unboxing, you'll be able to go see it, but you can get some awesome pictures from like a very far distance. Um, now with the S21 Plus and the S21, you'll have a triple camera system on both with a 12 megapixel wide, 12 megapixel ultra wide, and 64 megapixel tele three times. Um, so with that one, 
both have the same camera system. So look at that. And it'll look similar, very similar to the, is that the S20 FE? Uh, no, that is the one, the lavender or the violet one. I like to the say violet. That. <laughs> yeah. The violet one is a plus, an ultra, and then now I'm going to put down uh, a phantom white in the standard S21. So you can see nice. all. Nice. And guys. just for you guys to see, I have the phantom silver, and this is the S21 plus. It's very nice. I'm going to go up and re and the S21 in phantom pink. Which Sorry is for awesome. the adjustments super on pretty the fly, you guys, but there we go. Now we are in it. So there they are. Look at those guys. Okay. And someone asked when you lay the phones flat on their back, um, do um is there like a little gap because of the camera? Sure, there is. I mean, of course, the camera, and I can hold this one up here. You can see how much of a bump we've got there. And so, of course, when you set it down. Uh, now the ultra goes halfway across the phone. It's quite sturdy on the smaller ones. I'm the bump is not as big. It's not as noticeable with the S21, I would say. Yeah. So there's phantom white and it's this nice, almost, uh, satin finish. Probably if you guys are, yes. are paint folks, it's got just a little sheen, but it's really nice for fingerprints clean. And then there, look at that in terms of that integrated camera bump into the frame of the device. Nice. See if that's, there's a good shot right there of it. Nice. So there's that one. We talked about Phantom Violet. <laughs> 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 and there it is. Now that's almost a little bit, uh, would you say rose gold-ish? A little, well, the, you mean the, the, the bumper for the camera? Yeah. Yes, I would say so. The camera detail, I could actually, you know, I bet I could look it up. Uh, very nice. And we have a couple of people already calling out that the S21 Ultra is compatible with the S Pen. Yes, I have the S Pen right here somewhere. I just saw <laughs> it. The pen is mightier than the phone by itself. So we'll look on mine real quick. Let me just launch it up and get into a photo. I'll give you guys a quick demo. So this, mm -hmm. here we go. Nice Maui picture, <laughs> S Pen. So you can do all the fun things, right? You can write on it. Uh, let's see, I wanna do a little bit of that. And vacation <laughs> someday. You get the idea? Yep. Um, you can also on the S Pen click the button just like I could over a normal, like a note. And I've got all my favorite things nice. live messages, smart select. And in case you guys have never done smart select before, I love the little magic lasso. So you can get around an object and then snap to the object. I don't know if that's even re readable there, but <laughs> it's done. So I'm going to get out of that, say cancel that. Uh, let me try another one. I've got a fun one. Let me see if I can get object remover to work. That would be cool. Yeah, that's right. pretty neat. So I've got this pretty, uh, we'll revert, revert back to the original up here on top. This is under the labs tab, object remover. Now I can do things like, ooh, there's a yucky beach towel right there. Can I erase? And my beach towel is gone. It's gone. And and the sand from the beach has just kind of blended over the area where the beach towel once was. And I say, I like that. A whole Photoshop pro right there. <laughs> Hopefully, right? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> so S Pen compatible. Of course, my only challenge is there's no place to put the S Pen, but there is a case, correct? There is a case, yeah. an optional accessory that holds the S Pen. Now this is one S Pen. Um, I'm using this one, which I got I think from like Galaxy Note, maybe. It was from Samsung Unpacked, I want to say. Unpacked, yeah, but it was probably like the or Note the... 8, eight maybe? Eight maybe? I don't know. <laughs> uh, but it was a tchotchke they gave away. Same thing. It's got the little clickable button and everything. It's got a battery in it and all that good stuff. So nice. tons of fun. Size-wise, let's bring in a fourth guy here. So there is a fan edition. 
on screen so you guys can see it. And then they're asking about the processor. Processor. So uh, Qualcomm 888. Mm -hmm. uh, brand, do I do enough eights? 888? And it's the same for all three devices. Same for all three devices. Yep. They use all three layers of T-Mobile's 5G layer cake. So you've got the extended range 5G. You've got the um, ultra capacity 5G, which is both your mid band and also can encompass uh, millimeter wave where it's available. So uh, our mid band is really rock star and that gives you speed and great coverage. And then the extended range 5G is our low band spectrum, which is virtually everywhere. Uh, let's see, people are asking about eSIM. I don't know off the top of my head. We will have to get back to you. So drop us a note uh, on Twitter or in the comments below and we will follow up. What else? You guys talked about selfies. It's a 40 megapixel selfie on the Ultra and it's a... Uh, a 10, 10 megapixel. 10, 10 megapixel yeah. on the front. 108 on the Ultra for the camera capabilities and 60, pardon me, I got the hiccup, 64, 64. on plus and standard. It's um, 100 times space zoom on the Ultra and it is... 30 times. 30 times, thank you. I couldn't remember if it's 30 or 50. Um, 30 times. Batteries, 5,000 in the Ultra, 4,800 in the yes. Plus. And 4,000 for the 21. 4,000 for the small one. Prices, mm -hmm. what are we looking at? We come in at... Um, so the prices, oh. I have them right here, um, which there are a couple of promos if you guys go to our offers uh, tab on our um, mm -hmm. But the S21 Ultra 5G is $1199.99. The S21 okay. Plus 5G is $999.99. And the S21 5G is $799.99. Got it. So my wife would always say, just round up. You're not saving me a penny. So, so we're you know, really you know. <laughs> yeah, we're really looking at, oh, we lost demo cam somehow. Oh, no. All right. Well, that's okay. They were there right here, and I can just hold them up. Uh, and I'll reposition myself to be able to do as such. So, um, 1200 for your Ultra, uh, 1199. <laughs> uh, 999, so 1000 1, plus, uh, and then uh, 799, so 800 for standard S21, which yep. is down a bit from last year, um, which is fantastic. Uh, Cause in these times we're trying to save a couple bucks. Now I've got phantom white. Do you want to show off the, your phantom colors? You have phantom pink. Yes, phantom yes. silver, which mm -hmm. is the S21 plus. Yeah, do you and want to hold them up next to each other? Phantom pink. <laughs> nice, now that pink is a nice Ooh, kind of, again, like the white, it's a little bit muted. Um, yeah. Would you say it's more pink or more salmon? Honestly, I would say it's a salmon color. Yeah. Um, it has like a hint of peach, I would say. <laughs> All right. Yeah. see if I can get cam to fire up for us again real quick. <laughs> What's going on here? Not sure why we lost him. Bringing him back in. Jodeci uh, is asking if he can borrow your Samsung Ultra 5G. <laughs> can you borrow it? Oh, sure. Let me just ship it on over to you. <laughs> All right. Uh, there we go. Um, oh, they want to see the Phantom Black. Um, since you didn't have it uh, showing on the demo cam. Perfect. Let me get it for you right now. Uh, let's. I've got demo cam back with us. Yay. What? Little echo, I can hear the echo. It's gonna drive me nuts. There we go. Put him on mute. Uh, Phantom Black. Nice. So, and you can see this is this is my test unit. So it's it's a little dirty with my fingerprints, but that is probably the dirtiest I've ever seen it. So I apologize to Samsung if you're watching the replay. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I, will, I will clean it real fast right now with a microfiber cloth. Um, uh, what about the memory for each device? Okay. Um, we expanded our portfolio on memory at the last second. So I'm pretty sure we've got uh, storage capacities 128, and I'm right. talking ultra right now, 128, 256, and 512, correct? We, we, we yes. ended up carrying all three. Yes, um, and the other two are 128 and 256. 128 and 256 and the other two are eight gigs of ram and eight gigs of ram and the yeah. ultra is um 12. 12 gigs of ram you're right mm -hmm. 
Um, gosh, what else? They all take 8K video, which is fantastic. Um, they, I think they all, I know that at least with the ultra and I'm almost positive there's, you can take a 33 megapixel still out of your video. So you're playing back your video, you hit capture, it takes a high resolution still. So you there can kind of photos, yes. do both at the same time, quick charge wattage and zero to 100 charge time. Oh, I'd have to check on it and get back to you. Yep. Yeah. I see Kovar says. 8K at 24 frames per second. Correct. That is absolutely true. Um, and they both, they all take 4K 60, 4K 30, um, 120 frames per second on the slow mo. I feel like there's a 240 in there for super slow mo. I actually did some, you know what? I'll post that later on my Twitter uh, feed. Um, it was hailing here yesterday, and there was, I shot straight up in the sky and did super slow mo of the hail. That was pretty Ooh, fun. Oh, nice. Yeah. It, it looked like you were, you know, flying through space. It was kind of fun. <laughs> I guess it was more colorful than a dark gray sky, but it was hailing. So <laughs> that, that happens. Uh, what other questions can we answer for you guys? We've been cruising around. Right the front camera on the Ultra, I guess they want to see where it's placed, maybe. Uh, front camera on the Ultra. You can look at mine right here. There he is. He's right there above the lock. It is tiny, tiny. Let me see. There you go. Yep. And I, nice. I'm sure I, I have. There we go. Pan back a little bit to get him in focus. There you go. Looks good. And you can see the five Gs. We got five G yes, here. You can see the five G. We got no <laughs> ring. We got add, add a five G. <laughs> we got Twitter notifications. We got something's happening on Nest. Amazon's trying to sell me some. They're all in there. Everybody's busy. We got oh, um, one thing we did forget to mention. It has a 120. Uh, refresh rate. Oh my gosh! All three adaptive. devices. And yeah, it's, an <laughs> it's an adaptive. So that's across the board. That's 120 hertz refresh rate, all the way down to. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's like 10 uh, hertz. Um, what makes it a phantom? Well, Diego, let me tell you. One minute you see it. <laughs> next minute. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> that's so uh, funny. Yes, very cool. Um, so adaptive refresh rates really cool. Um, helps with power. Uh, consumption, so battery life. Uh, and, you know, the cool thing is, and on the Ultra, I've got mine cranked up. So mine, the Ultra is a 2K screen. Uh, you can do 120 hertz on the 2K screen. So things like gaming and stuff like that, butter smooth. Um, there have been some competitors who have started to offer that. So it was great that Samsung now with the entire lineup is doing it down. So very cool. Yes. Uh, let me check out my notes and see. We talked about 8K video. Um, the adaptive refresh rate, 5G, of course, beautiful design. They say all day battery and then some. I'm getting a day in about three quarters of yeah. every day Des use on the phone. So that's so the that's, same here. Usually I get a solid day and a half. Yeah. Yeah. I'm finding that around lunchtime the next day, I'm like, eh, maybe I should throw on the charger or stuff like that. Uh, let's see. Watch my Dodger games on my new S21. <laughs> <laughs> you could. You could. Uh, I see mobile master tech is very concerned about eSIM. eSIM. Uh, well, I to to the top of my head. I don't know. I can't, I honestly can't remember on this one. Um, and I don't think it's on my notes anywhere. I don't see anything. Um, you know, something that has come up and I just want to address it. Uh, no micro SD card expansion slot. So for me shooting in 4k 60 uh, and occasionally now shooting in 8k, I've had zero problems with, um, I've got a 256 unit here, so I'm I'm good. Uh, normally my devices are 128 and I'm good there. Uh, I constantly offload content to hard drives for backup. So, you know, it's not really a problem. I know people are maybe concerned, again, which apps are you using, which apps are you not using? It's kind of, you, you've got to manage it a little bit yourself and that's true with devices moving forward. Yeah. Um, if you're not, if you need expandable storage, this is not the Android device you're looking for. Um, and there are lots of other great options. Even from Samsung, mm -hmm. there's other great options. So it's really cool. Let's see. Uh, I see lots of people saying, hello. Can I trade with a Moto phone? There are there are offers. There are offers out there. So check them out. Um, and get to it on Friday. Now, next week, Susanna, what are we talking about next week? Can we talk about it or is it secret? We can talk about it, actually. Yes. Yes. What are we yeah. talking about 
Yes. <laughs> we are going to talk about the new Moto G Play. <laughs> yes. So we will have a new Motorola we'll be unboxing live. We also should have in the next week or so, um, I'm looking at them right over there, the new Galaxy Buds Pros. So nice. a couple of fun things to come back and check in on with us in the next weeks ahead. Uh, with Moto, I think we're going to have some guests and maybe some giveaways. And again, like we yeah. started, I'm going to end this live stream with the fact that you can go out to the T-Mobile Tuesdays app right now, right this very minute. It's still Tuesday. Play the uh, the hide-and-seek game. I think it's U-Seek is what it's technically called. But it's a shortened version of our unboxing video with a bunch of 5G icons hiding all around. you got to tap on those icons, enter your name. And, of course, I think you get an extra entry into the giveaway if you share the, the contest. So go out, play it, share it. Uh, we can't wait for it. Big T says, I love you, T-Mobile. We love you, too, Big T. Goodbye. Yeah, so let us know on Twitter if you actually won. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm always curious. Me too. Uh, very, very cool. Love it. Love it. I uh, I see lots of people saying thank you. Uh, Bap Fuguso is munching on the free Whopper right now. I saw that. It was a free Whopper <laughs> or Impossible Whopper. Right? Yeah, we'll either to one. So get in there, T-Mobile. They're Tuesdays. both pretty good. <laughs> oh, love them. Love them. So this is Des with T-Mobile. Susanna. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining us. This has been the Galaxy S21 Series 5G devices. All three of them, all the colors, all the all the memory variants, and all the crazy stuff. Fantastic device. Obviously one of the best flagships for the year. We can't wait uh, to see what you guys think of it when you get yours. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Awesome. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye.